Hey y'all. Hey, uh, we've been on a little acoustic kick lately, so let's do another one. Uh, Norwegian Wood. Kind of, uh, the little riff is, uh, very similar, maybe we'll do a lesson on that one later, uh, to, uh, at least I've always thought it's, it's a little bit like Happy Jack, that main riff to Happy Jack. But the main thing is to get the, uh, where are you tuned and what, what is the capo? It's in the key of E, but it's certainly done uh, on standard tuning with a capo at two, so you can do the little riff. That part. And really, uh, apart from that, there's only that little riff, there's the da -da 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 -da, D minor, then G. Da -da 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 -da, the E minor seven to A. Back. That's the entire song. So it really is about that little riff. So uh, the at the very start of it, when he does the, you can hear he kind of goes into it in typical John fashion. He's got a heavy strumming hand. He's hitting the A string on that first. You definitely hear that A in there. So give it a good healthy, you know. <laughs> I'm not quite that healthy, but... So the first little bit of it... Now what I like to call the John Lennon D chord, of course this is an, a, an E because of, the, because of the capo, but he does this thing a lot. You got your regular D and then the... from the capo. The D string up from uh, fourth, up to the fourth fret. And you can move that all over the neck, which the Beatles did quite a bit. Like even look at the, the pictures of them in the recording studio, and you see George and John are doing a version of this fingering all up and down the front board. You see that a lot. So I call it the John Lennon D, but someone I'm sure will chime in with what it's actually called. <laughs> but you do uh, this thing where it goes. So you're on and off the G string, starting with the G string. Hammer on, two frets up. Then off. Of course you put the A string in there. Then off the G string and then... Then you go to the John Lennon D. So it goes... gonna play it on single strings so you mix the cording in with that so start on that D that's probably the hardest part so from here then you're down at the D string at the second fret again these two on your D chord keep those there throughout this D string at two to an open G string. Then the D string at four to a D, open D string. And you can get as much of those strings in there as you want. And you can hear when he does it, he gets them. It's a D, uh, A string at three, to an open G string, A string two, to a D, and it's on an A string open. So let's do it really slow. Now the trick, and I just messed it up, 
The trick is to do that hammer on, and sometimes he's not hammering it, sometimes he's just... It's, it's not that. It's, you can hear the difference between this and two different things. He does them both. In the intro, it's just hammered on with the one pick. And he gets heavy on that last one. And you know, I used to have... Detour. I used to have that red... They called it the red album. The, the blue album, the red album, and then the, you know, the white album. But the red one, that 62 to 66 Greatest Hits one. I don't know if that was an early pressing. It was on. It had an Apple label on it. Uh, and it, it had on Norwegian Wood after the, like the second little day, the sitar break. After he finished it. Right in there. You can hear George go, that's good. So it was like, I don't know if they, because now when I listen to it, like on the seed, the digital versions and the cleaned up versions, you don't hear that. They potted that down. But that actually got all the way onto vinyl <laughs> with, with George's overdub during, you know, when he was overdubbing the sitar part. Uh, he got finished with one. He goes, yeah, that's good. And you could hear it plain as day. They included it in the final mix. But that's the only version I've ever heard that had that in it, was that one that was on that um, Great Assist 62 to 66 uh, album. All right, detour, back to the lesson. So you got, you're done with the riff and you're into it. Now to a D minor, and I think that's great. It stays in the key of D, but goes to a D minor. And that sounds like a full G, the pop music G with the B string at the third fret. I looked up, and back to D, So after that second time, it goes to D minor. That's E minor seven. Again, if you're doing John Lennon chords, your first guess. If it's an E minor, should be E minor seven because he did that a ton. He did E minor seven more than he did E minor. Uh, to A. I don't think I don't think it's an A seven. I think it's a full A. So I did the final that part. I think the key to getting the riff right, or getting the riff, uh, the easiest way to do it, when you got your D, mess around with these fingers, but these two guys, keep them planted. So practice that. Practice just getting those to stay without, ooh. those are there on your D chord. The, the B string and the E string, they stay throughout that little riff until you get to. Sorry. Until you get to that part. So just D, that little rip in D, the D minor to G, D minor again to E minor 7 to A, and that's it, that's the whole tune, good luck.